Alexander Goodwood. Welcome to my uh, divine dicky bow. And as you might have guessed, I am at the Goodwood Revival, hence this attire right now. Now this video, despite it being the next installment of my Michelin Mission series, has actually come about kind of off the back of you guys and off the back of a video I did when I was on the Supercars Club Arabia tour. Uh, there was a section in that video where I pointed you guys forward in the GT3 attacking a wonderful Alpine mountain road. And the comments were great and encouraged me to try and find some more first person view content. Now as the stars would align, uh, Ford and Michelin have arranged a very special exclusive piece of content that I wanted to share with you. So this event happens to be a very special Goodwood because uh, they have managed to put together the most expensive grid in history. Uh, so the combined value of the race which I'm about to share with you is over 200 million pounds worth of cars on the grid at one time. And the crazy thing is I think there's just over 25 cars on there. So the average car value is absurd. But the access I have is to go and sit in an original Ford GT40. And then we've got first person view front facing during the world's most expensive race. I'm hoping I've answered all of your comments because you wanted to see more of it. This is about as ultimate as it gets in terms of putting you into a four million pound Ford GT during the world's most valuable race. <laughs> Let's go check it out. videos in some pretty special places. I've jumped in with this fine gentleman Andy and we are in a GT40. Which is absurd that even those words coming out of our mouth is pretty abstract, man. It's pretty good, man. It's, it's, pretty, good. it's a good experience. It's a good way to start a Friday. Let's hope all goes well. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it will. So Andy, would you mind giving us a just a basic rundown on this car? Okay, this car was um, it's coming from the production line two Ford, uh, race prepared. It's a Mark One car, um, decked out to look like a Mark Two to uh, pay homage to the uh, three, the one, two, three winner at Le Mans in '66. So basically, we have this car and we have a road car over there, one of seven that were only made. Um, so yeah, this is what we use to, to take people around for an experience like yourselves. Fantastic. And get a bit of that uh, bit of GT feeling. Fabulous, man. I can't, I seriously, I'm so excited. So we're this. actually, we're bolted onto a 4.7 V8. Okay. It's going to get warm. <laughs> it's going to get warm and um, loud. Yeah, it's warm and loud. You can tell, hopefully, nice, nice smooth run. Cool. So what's it like to drive? It's, 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 it's an animal. It's a moment, yeah. It's an animal. Okay. And is it the kind of car that prefers it at speed? Is oh, it, it all it likes speed. click and speed? Yeah. Whether it's right slow, it's a little bit jerky. Yeah. Slow as a bitch, but that's, yeah. that's mainly my, my driving. <laughs> no, I'm sure, I'm yeah. sure you're great. I'll, I'll try and blame the car for that. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to point you guys forward because no doubt the sound in here, in terms of us having a chat when we're on on, on cam, isn't going to be the, the best audio. That's not going to happen. So <laughs> I would much sooner share the sound of this engine with you and then we'll debrief after the drive. Okay, so. That's what it was like to have a very quick experience in the passenger seat of the car, but this is all about the race. The race is taking place now. I've got a camera in the car, and this is exclusively for you guys. So big thanks to Michelin and Ford for putting me in this position. This is next level. Check it out.
sure you'll agree that was a pretty ridiculous piece of driving. Uh, just being able to watch that is an honor. That grid, the lineup of cars is absolutely exceptional out of this world. Uh, while I'm coming down from that experience, and hopefully you've uh, really thoroughly absorbed it, because that was taken from me very exclusive content. To get that footage officially at this event is exceptional. I think I'll give you a quick tour around and show you what makes Revival Revival. One of the best things about Revival is the effort that everyone goes to. Now, it's the dress, you step in this place, you actually step back in time. It's incredible. And every year, it gets more and more and more. People really live and breathe the ethos of Revival. But what really impresses me as well is all of the brands that partner with Goodwood their stands are next level detailed. Check out the Michelin Verbendum stand. It's a really fascinating interpretation of the Verbendum headquarters in London. And I'll splice in a picture from the real headquarters at the same time. It's like a mini Verbendum. That original headquarters is now a, well, appropriately a Michelin star restaurant. But to bring it here in slightly downscale size just shows you the amount of detail that all of the brands involved here go to replicate the authenticity of this period. Okay, so that is it. That's my time at Goodwood Revival 2018. I'm actually in uh, the normal car park now, and it's not until you step outside of the walls of the Revival that you realize what an incredible job they've done at immersing you in a, a bygone world. It's incredible, really. Generally, stepping out into this car park is like stepping back to reality. Speaking of which, the next time you'll, you see me, I shall be in Vancouver, Canada, for another very special event with some very special cars. As always guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.